The word fibromyalgia is derived from three parts. Its roots lie in Latin and Greek, fibra for fibrous tissue, miles for muscles, and algos for pain. When we combine these three elements, the literal meaning of fibromyalgia is fiber muscle pain or pain in the muscles and fibrous tissue. The word describes widespread pain in the muscles and tissues throughout the body. However, as research has progressed, it has become clear that the name fails to capture the true nature and complexity of fibromyalgia. The term fibromyalgia, introduced in 1976, no longer appears adequate as we now recognize that the condition encompasses far more than just pain. The name only describes one symptom and doesn't embody the full range of fibromyalgia symptoms. Other common symptoms include fatigue and sleep issues, cognitive difficulties, often referred to as fibrofog, mood disorders, and sensory sensitivities. Recent research has revealed that fibromyalgia is not primarily a disease of the muscles and ligaments, as the name suggests. Instead, it is now understood to be a condition of the brain and central nervous system, specifically involving the way that the brain processes pain. Fibromyalgia is now thought to fundamentally be a condition involving central sensitization and neuroinflammation. Central sensitization refers to an amplification of pain signals by the brain and spinal cord, making the nervous system overly sensitive to various stimuli. This explains why people with fibromyalgia often experience pain more intensely and may feel pain from normally non-painful stimuli. Neuroinflammation, or inflammation in the central nervous system, contributes to these changes in pain processing. Fibromyalgia is an example of a disorder where sensory information, both normal and threatening, gets amplified by the brain. In this condition, the problem lies not in tissue or muscle damage, but in how the brain interprets and processes various stimulus, such as pressure or touch, often producing pain responses where they wouldn't typically occur. This type of pain is now known as nosoplastic pain. In 2017, the International Association for the Study of Pain introduced nosoplastic pain as a new category to better describe chronic conditions like fibromyalgia. Nosoplastic pain, also known as neuroplastic pain, is defined as pain that arises from altered pain processing despite no clear evidence of actual tissue damage. In the context of fibromyalgia, this means that the brain mistakes safe signals from the body as dangerous, generating a pain response. This dysfunction of the central nervous system, where pain signal processing becomes distorted or sensitized, is now considered the hallmark of fibromyalgia. This shift in understanding represents a significant departure from the original concept implied by the name fibromyalgia. Given these advancements in our understanding, the name fibromyalgia no longer accurately reflects the nature of the condition. However, while not entirely accurate, the name still describes the primary symptom of pain, even if the underlying mechanism is different from what was originally thought. While we have new insights, our understanding of fibromyalgia is still evolving and there's currently no discussion about renaming the disorder. It's possible that as our understanding continues to evolve, there may be calls for a name that more accurately reflects the central nervous system and neuroinflammatory aspects of the condition. For now, though, the focus seems to be on improving diagnostic criteria, treatment approaches, and public understanding of fibromyalgia based on these new research findings.